you saw that, and let me show you how you can do it too. So, the key to doing that awesome technique that I just showed you guys is we're gonna break it down into steps. The first step is getting your friggin' head out of the way because the guy's throwing a punch and he's trying to right, he's trying to take your head off. I so, want your face. Right, he wants your face. So you can't get to the point where you kneeing him and cracking him in his face and doing the jujitsu peel on him until you get your head out of the way. That's the technique. The rest is just a finish, you know what I'm saying? So to get your head out of the way, this is what you gotta do. Not this. <laughs> you don't want to do that. You know, that's what y'all probably thinking. You want to take a step and get your head out of the way. And notice my step. I'm not stepping to the side because then I ain't got a knee and I got to go and catch him to get my knee. I'm stepping out and in. Boom. And the key to that step is to think of like a string is connected from your knee to your chin. So when your knee goes, your head follows. It has to go with it. Boom, that's it. Boom. And as like an insurance policy, I put this hand up just in case I'm not fully out of the way so I don't get chipped or nothing. Cause I don't want to get hit at all, you know what I'm saying? At all. You know, I'm like fluid out here. So I step and cover with that hand. Also, this hand is up to grab one so I can throw my knee. So that's step one, baby. So let's see how step one looks. He throws the punch. There he is. Step one. All right, so that was step one, getting your head out of the way. But now, he tried to inflict damage on you. Mm -hmm. So it's only right that you inflict damage on him for even thinking that you were available for him to inflict damage upon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the next step is the knee. So I've got my head out of the way. Remember the string. I got my head out of the way, so now I grab. And I'm not just throwing this knee like this, even though that's all you would need if you time it correctly. So all you would need is this. But me, I'm grabbing him and I'm jumping into him. He's getting all 174 pounds of me into his, hopefully, plexus. You're 174 you know? pounds? 174 pounds. Okay. Pure muscle, man. 7-8% body fat. <laughs> Y'all don't even know all that. <laughs> so, like I said, the second step, boom, that's the first step. I grab. Bam! Notice my knee. When I go in, I bring it right back here. So now I'm set up to do other things. So let's see the first and second step. And that's step two. All right, so that's the second step. So now you done took the wind out of him. Like you pretty much done jacked him up with that. But assuming that he may have more, some more fight left into him, you want to give him a finish. So, we ain't even got to get through all that, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I gave him my knee, boom, bam, he goes down from the knee. Your finishes can be this, you know? Bam, you can break the elbow, you know? Get your leg out of the way when you die. <laughs> you know, you're just going to cooperate next to Break the elbow, bam, you know? Or, you got him here, just get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> or you got him here, bam. Give him that right there. That should put him to sleep. You knock the air out of him. Now you put him to sleep, and now you can just come with whatever you whatever you want to do in the jujitsu locks that we're gonna teach you guys at the event. You know, July 9th at LA Fitness in Parma, baby. So let's see the technique again. One more time, right now. Let's see again. I hear it is. He throws a punch. <laughs> I am Roger Brothers. That's Andrew Heath. We are Fit to Inspire and Raging Fit, baby. Visit the website www.fit2inspire.com and be on the lookout for Raging Fit Apparel, man. It's coming soon. Real soon. Real soon. <laughs> I right. Peace.